The elephant in the room, of course, it's her lips. What did Kylie do to her lips? I think she's admitted to this on several occasions before, but... Hey guys, Dr. Gary Linkov here of City Facial Plastics in New York City. I'm a facial plastic surgeon and a hair restoration surgeon, and I wanted to give you guys a reaction video here to really an analysis of uh, Kylie Jenner and what work she may have had done on her face to get from where she was to where she is now. Obviously, she's a super successful woman. She's kind of set uh, the tone for a lot of our beauty trends, and so I think it's useful to take a look at these images and really try to figure out what has changed. People want to know, you know, they want to know what they can do to maybe look more like her or just out of curiosity, you know, like wh what did she do to, to get there? And so I'll share some thoughts with you, see what you guys think. So if you like the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Starting with the, the forehead, I mean, she's young, right? So I don't think she's getting Botox necessarily yet, but you know, she's got so so many kind of resources and uh, ability to get all this stuff. So um, she may be, right? But but she doesn't necessarily have to be to get from where she was five, seven, even ten years ago to where she is now. She's still young, so I don't think she's getting too many frown lines. But for all we know, maybe there's some Botox going on for the forehead, glabella, crow's feet to kind of continue to keep that youthfulness. Moving on down, I'm looking at her eyebrows. From when she was younger to where she is now, there's a lot more fullness there and options for doing that are makeup, there's microblading, there's eyebrow hair transplant. I think in her case it's probably a combination of microblading and some makeup that has given her eyebrow shape a lot more fullness, a bit more extension. It's coming up a lot uh, closer to the center of her face compared to where it was before and that really adds character and is kind of a more modern day trend in addition to all the lip stuff but the eyebrows looking more full is definitely a more kind of attractive feature and something that's very in right now. And also the eyebrow shape, right? Because a lot of people like the fact that the lateral part of the brow or the tail of the brow appears to be more elevated in her, whereas it wasn't exactly like that when she was younger. And that can be achieved surprisingly well with makeup. So it could just be kind of a makeup trick that she has. The other thing that people um, are doing now to create that kind of fox side look is thread lifting on the lateral aspect or, you know, in some cases, a lateral brow lift. But that's a bit more involved and carries some risk of scarring. And so I don't think she necessarily had a lateral brow lift. Potentially, there's some threads going on here to account for this uh, new lifted tail of brow look. Or maybe just some good makeup that can also create that. No. You know, 100% on that, but something has changed. Now, if you look at her nose, the nose had quite a bit of flatness to it. It had a wide upper and mid vault, we call it, or the upper and middle portion, as well as the tip, just had, were kind of broad and uh, poorly defined structures. Over time, the, the bridge of the nose appears to be more narrowed, and the tips appears to be more defined. And so that is most likely almost definitely the, the result of a rhinoplasty that, in my opinion, was well done. It does balance her face nicely. It takes attention away from the nose, which is one of the main goals, actually, of a rhinoplasty, and brings it out more to her eyes and other features of her face. So that, I think, was done. If you look at the nasolabial folds, I think she may have had some filler along the folds just to soften them. There's a li little bit less of a division between the cheek structure and the upper lip, and that is is most likely because of some filling in the nasolabial folds. The upper part of the cheeks appear more full, and that again is likely the product of filler. And the jawbone structure seems a bit more squared off, a lot more squared off, I should say, the more I look at these photos compared to when she was much younger. And so that again is most likely due to the effect of filler to give her a bit more of a squareness, which is again kind of a modern day beauty concept. I find that a lot of my patients who start off with a more kind of narrow jawline, they want it to be more square. And my patients with the more square jaw, they want a more narrow jaw. So we all kind of want what we don't have, which is human nature. And then to kind of get to the elephant in the room, of course, it's her lips, right? What did Kylie do to her lips? I think she's admitted to this on several occasions before, but it looks like she had some filler. Other options would be 
lip implants such as permalip or lip lift surgery or lower lip advancement surgery. I don't think she had surgery. I think it would have been too obvious with scarring and I think she wasn't willing to take that risk for her career. So. I think that this is just the result of filler over time. You can kind of see the duck lip look that's starting to, to form in her just from having had that filler over and over. I think she's had it dissolved several times, but still, over time it accumulates, you get some internal scarring, and that can bring out that fullness of the lip that never really goes down, which again, some people love, but there's also in some of her photos a little less naturalness to her lips. But again, I think it's the result of a lot of product that's been placed over time and her filtrum is made to look a little bit shorter from the impact of the upper lip filler, but it's not a dramatic filtral length change. So I, again, I don't think it was surgery. I don't think she has implants. I think it's more likely just lip filler product that has accumulated over time. Those are the changes that I think Kylie has gone through that have really transformed how she looks. I think she looked very pretty before. I think now with all the makeup and, and the added structural changes that she's gone through for her overall facial appearance, it's a bit more of a, of a presence. And that really, again, it, it's setting the tone for a lot of what other people want. So I think it's helpful to kind of talk through what she may have you know, gone through to get to this final result and we'll see how she continues to age and what she ends up doing to counter some of those changes that happen naturally. I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you thought of this analysis. You can find me at uh, cityfacialplastics.com if you want to send in you know photos, if you want to schedule a consultation to talk through how you know what she had could work you know for you potentially or maybe not work for you. Open to, to all of that. So once again please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We'll be sure to have more of these real soon. Thanks.